Yeah, very good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. What about you? Yeah, things are going well. Nothing new. Yeah, so what is sound? Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Today, yeah. Your name is Anil. Yes, yes. My name is Anil. Okay, Anil. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Yeah. My name is Anil Kumar, and uh, I'm a student, as well as a teacher, and also a YouTuber. And uh, if I if I talk about my hobby, so my hobby is making video for my YouTube channel. I have nothing special hobby. And in my future, finally, I want to be a great YouTuber. Okay, you aim to be a great YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your camera is not fixed. It's moving here and there. Your angle is not fixed. Because I have kept my mobile in my hand. Okay. Okay, you are keeping your mobile in your hand. It's okay. It's okay, no issue. So can yeah. I also introduce myself? Yes, of course. Yeah, my name is Poonam Shukla. I am a homemaker and along with I am running a YouTube channel named English with Shukla. I'm living in Delhi along with my husband and my nine years old daughter. If I talk about my qualification, I have pursued graduation from Kanpur University. And yeah. Yeah, as far as my experience, I worked as a team leader in a BPO and then I also had the experience of insurance advisor. And right now, my only hobby is to learn English and become a good communicator. That's all. Wow, great. You are doing so many things. Not nothing. Only I'm just taking care of my house. And whenever I get free time, I just give it to a short that I should learn something new. That is the only thing I just do. Okay. And how long have you been learning English? I have been learning English, I think I can say, more than two or one year you know english is not about learning because we when we were in school we learn this language we are yeah. quite familiar with this language so it's not new but the question should be when did you start taking it seriously as a spoken language yes, then I, yeah. think, I think more than one year i have been working on it i have started like i have realized the importance of this language spoken yes so, Last one year, I have been working on this. What wow, about cool. you? Yeah, if I talk about my English journey, so it has been more than three years. Okay, okay. Your English journey, you have been working more than three years. Yeah, yeah. So what did you find? Are you capable? You find that whatever you were putting, you are getting something from that? Yeah, I get so many things. And English helps me in any field because oh. nowadays, yeah, in this modern era, English is very, very important. Okay. So when did you get time? Like you are a student, you told them. So how much time do you take to do for the practice? How much time do you spend? Yeah, no, nowadays, I'm not, give, I'm not giving... So much time for English, just sometimes 30, 30 minutes, one hour, that is enough. Okay. But you are doing a main thing that you are doing practice through this channel, Skype, that is the main important. Yeah. Because in my starting time, I was giving two or three hours every day for English. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to learn English, that is the best part. Whatever knowledge you have, you should start speaking. If speaking, you want to yeah. improve spoken English. Yes, yeah, speaking for, is very important. Yeah, for written, it's very much required to give time. You have to say it. But for the spoken, start with whatever knowledge you have. Just start speaking. You know, I was yeah. also making the same mistake. I have been learning since so long. But it was all about grammar. You know, new words, sentences, but I wasn't speaking. That's why I took those that much time. So I thought, you know, it's time to just only speak. Whatever I know, I will speak. I will make mistake. Mm. It's okay. Yeah, good. So how much time you are giving for English? 
not particular there is no particular time that whenever i get free time i always just want to watch youtube and some now new idioms and phrases because we, it is very much important to know idioms phrases if you are across yeah. your basic level if you are intermediate level then you should focus on speaking more yeah, so yeah, when yeah. you start speaking quite okay okay then you can add this idiom phrases it make you more native yes yeah so i'm just working on that well good but last form one week i i i haven't learned anything new because i got to know that only speaking is more important once i get fluency then i will add new things well so what new things you want to add sorry i didn't get it what new things you want to add in your english yeah once you once i get the fluency like i know positive i know condition or i know all the grammar rules but when i start speaking that time i don't use active and passive i just use simple simple sentences so what i am trying to, during my conversation i am just trying to use them once i get that position then i will definitely add some advanced vocabulary i will replace my old one with the advance i will replace with the structure formation with the idioms and phrases that i will wow. do. right now my only focus is on speaking yes yeah good so do what do you do do you listen anything to improve your english or do you read yeah earlier i was listening but uh, nowadays i am not listening anything because uh, sometimes i practice with my friends and uh, after that uh, i make video for my youtube channel and apart from this i teach to my student okay you also take tuition yeah which subject do you teach all subject or any particular no only english subject only english yeah. it means you are good at writing what in writing in matlab grammar or literature of your english is quite good yeah maybe a little bit <laughs> i can't so, say that i am writing this yeah you are teaching so your knowledge would be you know better than mine i can say no it's, no it's not like that so whenever you get bored whenever you don't feel like doing anything aaj padhai bhi nahi karni hai aaj kuch nahi karna then what do you do yeah that time i operate mobile <laughs> okay <laughs> this is the best yeah. part time for everyone yeah mobile is you know it's time pass okay so do you have friends yeah. also yeah i have so many friends you have so many friends yes i have so many friends from uh, many state from many country from from many states and from many country okay you have friends in abroad also also yeah yeah so many friends you are a social butterfly what <laughs> means a person who like to interact with the people and who like to make friend is called social butterfly social butterfly yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah good <laughs> a person who like to you know go outside who like to spend time with their friend so that person is called outdoorsy jisko ghar se bahar hi rehna pasand karta hai so that is called outdoorsy okay so do you also want to be social butterfly no i am not that much i am not that much i am talking only for the youtube channel or for enhance my communication i have not a kind of butterfly and i can say i consider myself lone wolf like a person who like to be with his company or her company i'm that kind of person i hardly okay. make friends i have only two or three friends good good this through skype i am getting change because i have started speaking people i have started learning about them their life so now i can say i'm matlab i'm getting change from extrovert to you know introvert to extrovert to the well, skype yeah, yeah. this is happening yeah i am also introvert person because sometimes i don't speak so much i also feel shy sometimes i also feel shy especially while talking girls or 
talking with the boys also it's happened boys feel shy while talking girls like uh, with most of girls <laughs> most i can understand sue your face i can understand with your boy yeah. you the friends you are comfortable when it come to talk with a girl you feel shyness so yeah yeah it happens yes okay you must be studying in the boys college no 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 in my college boys and girls both are study okay still Yeah, it may be in nature. Okay, so tell me something about your family. Yeah, you know I have big family. In my family, I think seventy uh, uh, members. Seventy members. You are living a big joint family. Yeah, ten plus seven members. Okay, great. In today's scenario, living in a joint family is quite interesting. Yeah, it's quite difficult, but it's also you know good thing. We can enjoy and we love all our family members and we get respect. So I like, I like it. Yeah, it, it, everything has its cons and cons. Actually, you are living in a joint family, so you don't feel any kind of depression. You don't feel that you are alone. And whenever yeah. there is festival, you can enjoy with them. You don't need to seek other person. Like if someone is alone, who always seeking for. to talk with someone who always seeking to make new friends but if you yes. have this family you don't need to seek for anyone yeah yes. and if you need any help if you need any help then you can call your family yeah. members and they will help you yeah. especially when there is any function na the if you are having a big family that it makes function more enthusiastic yeah and they can manage all the things yeah they can manage they can and there are somewhere up and down this everybody but you know living in a joint family and if everyone is happy then it's a good thing today scenario mm -hmm. because people are uh, getting alone day by day yeah yeah most of people you know most of people they also like to live separate family yes yes, yes. some are because of their job some are they are willing to go outside they don't want to live with their parents so it's up depend upon the situation Like we are here because of our uh, you know job. My husband is mm -hmm. working here. Yeah, that's why I'm away from my hometown. But most of yeah. the time, there any festival, I always miss my hometown. Yeah, yeah. Like in our hometown, we can enjoy and we can get uh, real happiness. Yeah, that is the right word. Whenever you go your hometown, it's you always get real happiness. Yeah. No matter how uh, long you are, actually, I have been living here since so long in Delhi. Yeah. But still, I always try to go my hometown. Like in summer vacations are going on, and from uh, second or you know two after two or three days, summer vacation will start. Yes. My only focus to go my hometown. So where I is your hometown? Yeah. Uh, where is your hometown? Kanpur. Kanpur. Yeah. Okay. My husband so, given me two option. You can go to your hometown or you can go for any hill station. So I prefer to go my hometown. Yes. Because you know, hometown is like a you know heaven, where you can yes. you know, get all the sorrows and for fifteen or ten days you can totally enjoy. Okay. So I still do you have your mother-in-law and father-in-law? Yeah, yeah. I have mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my mother. My pa father is no more. so they all are living in kanpur wow well, good ah uh, because they are getting yeah they are getting older so it's become difficult for them to come again and again so most of the time we prefer to go there yeah yeah good good yeah especially and you also, and you, uh, after going to your home you also help your pa uh, parents and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah good you get respect yeah and we, we cannot help that much because we hardly get two days three days or not more than one week so but ha huh, somewhere we can help them they don't feel that they are alone somewhere we we yeah, give them yeah. you know kind of motivational support that we are with you whenever you will required we will be there yes yes yeah yeah they need this type of words they need to yeah. listen this type of words and i personally believe every person should visit their hometown whenever they get down time yes yeah absolutely they forget they forget their parents but we should not do if it's not possible at least do it for once twice in a year 
yeah because your parents they will also not feel uh, alone and yeah. uh, they will think that uh, still my uh, uh, my daughter my uh, son they are always with me yes yes and for you know neighbors also it is very much required they feel like they have no one they are alone but if you yes. keep on being there if you are in with them touch they have a kind of fear no their parents are come their kids are coming here and they do visit here so they will not treat them in that way i have seen people don't talk that people are inse baat karenge to piche pad jayenge they will ask for any help old yes. people bhi hota hai so that's why it's very much important because yeah, cool. our पटना 16 may okay okay and uh, that day uh, i will purchase digital board a smart board okay 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 yeah and then i will set up in my room and i will start teaching yeah it's very much important because i also make uh, some grammar based content but it's become difficult to explain thing verbally when yeah. you explain anything in the blackboard it's make is crystal clear you can make your people understand easily but if you keep yes. on talking and no matter how much uh, content you are giving mm-hmm. it's re- it not give that much impact i am also facing the same thing but i am thinking where should i keep my blackboard where where would i uh, you know set up it there is require a fixed place a kind yes. of sometime i do uh, you know sometime i do make do arrangement किसी भी सोफे के ऊपर बोर्ड रख दिया इस तरीके से आई डू सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यस यस या बट नाउ माय रूम इज रेडी ओके एंड आई विल सेट अप माय डिजिटल बोर्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल एवरी डे आई विल अपलोड वीडियो या दैट इज अ गुड आईडिया बिकॉज़ यू आर अ टीचर तो इट्स वुड बी आई कैन आल्सो सी ओके इट्स योर सेटअप नाउ माय रूम इज रेडी एंड on 16 may i will set up okay best of luck advance mein yeah yeah thank you ma'am yeah. okay okay i am also thinking how would it would be cost how much it would be cost a digital yeah, it's, it's cost is 1 lakh 50000 my god <laughs> i am not going to spend that much you are a teacher and you have a long future ahead i will manage with my small blackboard yeah yeah I make it easy, but I will manage with that. Once I started getting money, then I will think about to buy, it. spend one lakh. Yeah. But you are a student; that it's good for you. Yes, yes. So you want to become a teacher? It means English teacher. In my life, I want to become a great YouTuber as well as a teacher. If I will become a government teacher, that is also okay. Otherwise, no problem. Yeah, but today's scenario: if you are good at anything. you don't need to have a government job you can earn you know money and respect and success anything you can get through the youtube but you are if you are good at your particular area like you are talking yes. about this, you have to work hard and then you can achieve you know every yes, yeah. government job yeah yeah i will do so much hard work for my english so <laughs> is that anybody can teach there is no restriction ki you cannot upload your video if you are good or you are not good leave it to the people if they like you then you can continue if they don't like you then you can stop yes 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 for the government job there are fixed seats but in the youtube everybody can make her dream fulfill yes yes yeah really okay so i think you are going to upload it so you need to wind up it's going to be 20 minutes Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will upload this session, and now I want want to stop. Yeah, I think it was nice talking to you. Okay, okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really nice conversation. I'm so much happy. Let's have a conversation again. Okay, okay. Okay, bye. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice.